item in the paper I thought we could have some fun with. I hope so. Of course, you folks are the final judge of this. <laughs> we'll have some fun with this together. It's called Do's and Don'ts at the Supermarket by uh, Letitia Baldridge, who I guess is a... Uh, She's been on the show. She is yeah. an expert in manners and so forth. And most people think it's not just for people at the supermarket, but for supermarket employees. And she says what you should not do when you're at a supermarket that people don't think about. You should not allow children to open a package, sample its contents, and then put it back on the shelf. <laughs> Remember when your kids sure. were young and you do that and you'd have yeah. to buy it? Uh, it says parents should be charged double for that item because they are starting off their children on a glorious life of ripping off other people without getting caught. What she says. Mm -hmm. Sneaking through the express checkout of eight items or less with ten items or more, some pieces <laughs> carefully hidden under others in the cart. Oh! How sneaky! Guilty! Guilty! Sneaky! You ever see people do that? They'll come out and they'll have seven items in the mm -hmm. cart and they'll be holding a couple. Yeah. And then they'll say, oh, by the way, would you yeah. have these? I forgot these. I got caught doing that once. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> she says you should not cause cans, boxes, or jars to come tumbling down and then leave them in the aisles. You shouldn't do that. Getting in line at the checkout counter, then leaving the cart to go fetch other things and returning later. <laughs> Another cute thing. Um, oh, here's something that you see. People get up there, they have all their groceries, then they start writing out the check. How many of you have seen that? Mm -hmm. And they fill in the date, the name of the market. All they would have to do, they can have everything filled out except the amount. Right. You could have the check signed, mm -hmm. made out, and so forth. Not a bad idea. Leaving one's empty cart in the parking lot. Well, you can get killed out there in the parking lot. Though. <laughs> now, those are for the, um, for the customers. Here's some for the employers. Answer all questions courteously. Explicit instructions do not mean grunting over there. <laughs> Did you ever get that? Where's the yeah. oven cleaner? Over there. Uh, make a passageway for people to squeeze by while unloading big cartons and you're arranging items on the shelves. List and pack items quickly and cheerfully instead of flirting with a checker in the next line. Keep themselves well-groomed, including fingernails and so forth. And if the employees are well-groomed, the customers consider that stores food to be fresh and clean as well. Makes sense. So those are both for customers. Well, thank heaven and somebody finally well, wrote those it's down. It's about time, because yeah. a lot of things, a lot of people do that. Very important. I mean, people have been shopping since they were old enough to walk. Since they were market. As soon as you're hungry, you know how to go shop. Right. And it's good that somebody finally put it all together. That's true. A nice compilation, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Gathering all the rules together. <laughs> Every single rule you'd ever want is in those three pages. Or you are wrong, rancid bacon breath. Oh. Oh. There are others. There are others? Those are obvious. Yeah. Any fool can... I don't want to say Miss Baldrige is a fool, but anybody can put those together. <laughs> Here's some that, uh, she neglected. for supermarket shoppers, do not try on pantyhose in the checkout line. <laughs> While on the checkout line, please don't place your dentures on the conveyor belt. <laughs> don't weigh your undiapered child in the vegetable scale. <laughs> I've seen that in yeah, that's fair. It is not considered good supermarket etiquette to bowl a cantaloupe into a Gatorade display. <laughs> if you are a proctologist, trust the butcher when he says the chicken is in good shape. Do not insist on examining the bird yourself. <laughs> Don't hop up in the track to razor display and shave your legs. Bad taste. Do not, I repeat, do not. <laughs> Drink a case of beer and then try to do the Viva Towel absorbency test. <laughs> do not use a glad bag for any other purpose but storing food. <laughs> okay, now here are some etiquette rules for employees. It is impolite to laugh openly at shoppers who suffer nervous breakdowns at the meat counter. <laughs> Wait until the store closes before staging a food fight. <laughs> Don't rig the automatic door to see how many little old ladies you can flatten. <laughs> you should set up bargains, but don't set up bad sales like any piece of meat in this barrel for 19 cents. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> Personal hygiene, of course, is important. Go home and take a shower if the fruit flies have abandoned the melons and are circling you. <laughs> If a customer dies in the store, phone the morgue immediately to not stack the deceased in the frozen vegetable case. <laughs> Here's something that uh, they do. Do not take your price stamper and raise the price more than three times while the customer is online. <laughs> Be courteous. It is embarrassing to thump a pregnant woman's stomach to see if she's stealing a watermelon. <laughs> Double saver coupons should not be traded for one night stands. Bad taste. Don't play games. <laughs> Never hide under the bananas and wait for a shopper to pick you. <laughs> Bad taste. <laughs> and never sexually arouse a shopper with your feather duster. <laughs> Those are just a few of the big problems. Okay.